Yeah, your videos are actually very good. I like them. You have like their high production quality. The, they're, they're, they're fun. You make fun of it and you're not like too Yeah, I mean, we just. Tammy is even more judgy than I am. That's true. If that's possible. I can use a bleep sheet? Yeah, sure. Okay. Mike! Yeah, these are hard hitting questions. These are, these are about as tough as they come. What the hell is that? We're gonna ask some what Tammy calls butt punch questions. Maybe sure. a few little nut flicks in there. Okay. Okay. So this is all. So so you're gonna like, get one night out of it. It's not like underwear where I can wear it multiple times. No. Hey there, I'm the Lanky Lefty 27. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist or a sleep tech. And this video is gonna be on Stuart Hetherington. It's an interview. I've never done anything like this. He is the inventor of the Dreamport Sleep Solution by Bleep Sleep. Because it's an interview, and so I've added a lot of like Easter eggs in there. Hopefully you'll find them enjoyable. If not, eh, that's the video. Uh, before I get into that too much, I have to say a massive thank you to my Patreons on Patreon. Um, especially Dr. John Vanderlaan. And Steve Bradshaw. Hope I'm saying that right. He is in the Thank You, Thanks Buddy Club. So, Dr. John. And Steve Bradshaw. Thank you and thanks buddy. What you guys have done is provided me with a new uh, rifle mic, so ho hopefully you can pick up on all my stuttering and stammering. How great is that? As well as some lighting so you can see all my, uh, all my hairiness in full lighting. Nice soft glow of hair. Mm. At this point, I'm actually kind of post-production. I've already edited most of the video, and there's a lot of things in there I think need a little context, all right? So, Stuart Hetherington, he's actually a res registered polysomnographic technologist himself. He's been in it for a very long time, and in speaking with him on the phone for probably 40 minutes, and then spending like three to four hours with him in early December, I actually come, have come to have a lot of respect for him. A lot of his philosophies as far as uh, what kind of mask people should be set up on, just a certain, kind of the order that you do things, and that, in our opinion, give patients a better outcome. Uh, Stuart is the inventor of the Dreamport Sleep Solution. Look, I started a couple businesses myself. Uh, I, before I started this, the, the freesleepappadvice.com forum and uh, you know massbrite.com as well as the, the product Massbrite and this channel, you do a lot of trial and error and failure. And I've failed several times at this stuff. So it's really cool to hear his story of how, and this stuff isn't, this stuff isn't included in the video. It's really cool to hear his story about he had a problem, masks couldn't get him leak free. He just went to the hardware store, kind of cobbled together all this stuff for a proof of concept. Um, and then now is launching it, demoing it all over the place. And I'll just tell you up front right now, it is truly innovative, like unlike any other mask I've ever seen. I'm not being paid to say any of this stuff. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go with that. Full disclosure. He flew out to see me out here. I brought in a couple of my coworkers. He took us out to dinner afterward. Afterward, he ordered me the carnitas plate. I believe it was $12.99. And he also bought a margarita. Now, normally, I don't drink, I'm not much of a drinker, but everyone else was having margaritas, and so I was like, why the hell not? Let's do it, let's have a margarita. Other than that, uh, no financial ties. Okay, to be fair, let's talk some Mike. on Stuart right now. I'm gonna talk Matt Mike. Now I did this to his face, so don't act like I'm a little backstabby on him. He does some things that really piss me off. One of them is he says, 12 centimeters of pressure. What the hell is a sonometer? or a sonomer. I've heard centimeter, sonomer, cinemer, sonomers. What's a sonomer? It's centimeter of water pressure. Okay, on another good note, Stuart is an open book. You ask him any question about the business, he was very open and he was very open in front of the camera. Now let's get to it. I've actually edited out a lot of it because some of the stuff was a little repetitive, much like myself. And with that, I'm gonna leave it to the interview. Okay, first of all- Are you reading from a script? I, I just have notes, because otherwise I'll forget. This, I, He's not real bright. Yeah, I'm not real smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with me I have Stuart Hetherington, correct? Yep, Stuart Hetherington. I have my, one of my coworkers. We'll just call you. You're not even on camera. If you guys want to come around, you're more than welcome to. Do, yeah, we can do it as a... We have taco burrito and chalada chimichanga. <laughs> Taquito burrito. And then so tamadone, lorazotam. <laughs> yeah. Tamad, tamaflu. All of them work. All those work. No, All right, use. and then I'm... So this is all stuff that people would totally ask you. We've talked about some of this already. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, so no softball questions. I'm not going to the sidekick. Ron Papil. The lady that just goes. Right, so you're gonna tell us? Yes. You wanna know? We want one of these. Okay, okay. let's hear about it. We already saw some of your, your videos on, they're all on Vimeo. And they don't yes. have a lot of views. Why the hell Vimeo and why not YouTube? You don't need to know anything about sleep apnea to understand that wearing one of these is a one-way ticket to <laughs> show island. I <laughs> you not. And today I'm proud to introduce Dreamport Sleep Solution, only from Bleep. At just one ounce, this thing's comfortable. 
It's lightweight, fits anyone, and lets you sleep in any position, and keeps you from whistling like Thomas the Train. The best part is, it actually works. This thing isn't just good, it's f***ing great. In fact, we think this is the best sleep apnea solution on the planet. That's a creative question. We don't officially launch until, I mean, we're launched. Yeah. But we aren't gonna have product out until Q3 of next year. So it's just, we're just marketing, getting awareness out there. It's it, like I said, probably 40 some odd percent of our of our entire production lines are already sold out. Okay. For. If we had FDA, it would be sold out. So we don't have to spend a bunch of money. A on bunch of money on it. It's just we we go right. into a product. The the companies that see it are like, great. Either they're giving us a letter of intent hinged on uh, FDA clearance, sure. or some of them already popped for a purchase order. So. And just to be clear, you already mentioned this is these are prototypes. This yeah, and, right and these are prototypes. And actually, yeah. they look they look. Well, as good as anything else. <laughs> well, well, it, well, and and so the, the difference is, is the the molds that these came off of haven't been polished, so the the silicones will be crystal clear. Yeah, uh, most yeah. of the hard plastics will be crystal clear. That's all cosmetic-y stuff. Yeah, and this yeah, it's mostly cosmetic-y. Um, the the port socket, the part that actually holds the disposable component, um, is being tweaked for yeah. final production. Um, and actually, I've got a cool video where the engineer basically is has a, a one liter bottle fill up with water, and he's hooked it on and he's swinging a one liter bottle around on the end of. That, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know too many masks where you could swing a one liter bottle around and it not come off. I'm glad you mentioned that because <laughs> you did a video that we saw where you take the one pound weight. Yes, and it was jogging weight. Yeah, one pound weight, and you hung it off of several masks. Twelve centimeters of pressure. One pound weight. Yeah. So first so, question, you for this is again at your marketing. What the hell? They could have used a shake weight. I could have done a shake weight. Sexy young thing, oiled up. <laughs> yeah. I could have done a shake Shaking weight. it and make a spectacle of it. I, it, uh -huh. it, it probably would have been unusual. <laughs> right. I might. I'll, I might do that. Plus, I think the shake. The bleep workout, with one hand on top of the other, and elbows in. And we're going to shake the bleep out of it for 60 seconds. This will build size, definition of your sleep muscle. Okay, I have to call you out on this. You used uh, a ResMed Activa, and you hung it off, and that sucker held like a champ. 12 centimeters of pressure. I didn't hear a leak at all. Oh, no, no, it did. Did it? No, did you not see the, the headgear? I saw the whole thing pull Oh, out. it pulls down, but it does. It leaked all up in my eyes. The audio didn't pick up. No, no, it, it does. If you, if you if you if you listen closely, you can actually hear the 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 hissing. The hissing. Okay. So, had I used one of the other masks that didn't have a forehead break on it, it would have it would have been worse. Oh, it would have really? been just as bad. We as were saying it would have ripped it down underneath my nose. Any other mask you picked, we're like, oh, it's gonna just tear it down. No, I mean, like, don't pick the Activa, man. It's it's, but it, but it did. I mean, it, it literally came down off my forehead. It it obscured my eyes. Yeah. And yes. while it does hold on, it did leak. One pound weight. One pound weight. It ain't comfortable. But it ain't leaking. We got 10 ginger dingers of firepower. 35 pound weight. Oh. 10 gingle dingles of snapper papper. One one pound can of WD-40. What? By the way, Barrage FX on sale now at maskbright.com. Oh, you think I'm kidding? Head on over to maskbright.com right now upon checkout. In the apply coupon code section, type in WD40 and you will be in for a massive discount on masks only. Nobody's sleeping with a weight on a mask either. No, no, but no, it's no, just to just... show that, hey, look, you know, a one pound weight can replace the torque that you're experiencing in bed by laying on the tube and just rolling slightly. No, I know, it's just it's and, all a proven point. It's totally, just a proven point because totally people were like, yeah, but you know, will it not leak? Yeah, actually, even with a one pound weight, it won't leak. Right now, you guys are, are trying to fund yourselves on Indiegogo. 
Not really. I mean, the, the goal was, hey, look, you know, we knew that somebody else had done something. Yeah, let's just mention it. Cause I'm, it really <laughs> I'm not going to mention it by name because I've been told not to. But okay, well, I'll, I'll mention I'll kind of dance around it. Say my name, say my name, you acting kind of shady, ain't calling me Erin, baby, say Erin, what is up with this? Tell the truth, I smell a fish, how would you like it if I sold your money on Indiegogo, you try to steal it now, the prototype got a bounce, when two seconds ago, you said you had FDA approval. Right yes, with, absolutely. It rhymes with right sharing, sharing, <laughs> staring. Because so, people, this, this is something people are gonna ask. Oh no, absolutely. And it's, we've the, been asked. So it's like you, right now, you guys have like thirty four hundred bucks worth of funding. Oh yeah, it's it's, and, it's next to us. So, and, and you you said that I I was like I don't I might be paraphrasing. I ass blasted over something. <laughs> so what? Okay, what makes you guys different? Well, we're we're not CPAP on your lip, um, and and that's what. Herring is. It's supposedly um, CPAP on your lip. If it were Blade Runner 2049, that might be around. The battery doesn't exist. You know, I think we had a conversation, you know, on the phone that you know there's more market cap in the battery space yeah. than yes. there is in the CPAP space. If you're gonna create something and you can create that battery, then Holy crap, that's what you need to be selling. Because exactly. you can sell that globally and sell a boatload more. As and well as and the micro, guy that owns Tesla would microphone. probably love to buy you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I guess the one thing I wanted to bring attention to is sure. that you had a prototype. <laughs> that's what makes it different. Yeah, no, it's, it's a, prototype. a prototype. We've actually filed for FDA. I mean, we're uh, unlike herring. Right. Um, it, it, it's, you know, there is no actual product demonstration. Um, I can product demonstrate the crap out of this, sure. and, and which we'll do and, get, and we're yeah, which we're, we're going to do. They aren't fixing nasal masks, yes, and they and they aren't fixing you know, full face users. And our engineers basically said it, it can't generate enough power, you know, to to create you know even six centimeters of pressure. Um, and and you, you know, my thing is who's going to pay for it? Because the one thing Medicare doesn't do is go up on reimbursement rates. And if you if you take and figure out the cost of that over the three years as kind of a nightly disposable, it's far more expensive than a traditional sure. app. Okay, that's good. That brings me to your, your cost. On your campaign, you have 75 bucks will get you a week, or I'm sorry, a month's worth of jury. So we're looking like roughly 250. So we're just, <clears throat> we're shooting in the in, in, the, in the dark as far as what the MSRP is going to be. We, we don't set that. Don't we are it. a manufacturer only. So we sell a product to the to the middleman, and the middleman puts it on the patient. So the, the DME or the HME is going to put the product on there. And by and large, it's going to be right in line with everything else that's on the market. So it's A7032 is what we're, we're seeking for reimbursement code for a nasal cushion. And A7034 for the, the mask interface is what we're seeking. And pricing will be, by and large, geared around that. I mean, insurance isn't going to pay any more just because we might come up with something novel and unique, they're not. Right. And, and we aren't profiting off that. It's, it's whatever the middleman wants to sell it to the patient. But if you follow Medicare schedule and you got a mask every quarter and you got two cushions every week, then that's going to be ballparking it, what sure. it might be. Do you have to buy a mask every, the, 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 the reusable portion of ours? No. Probably not. Yeah. You don't have to. Buy a regular nasal mask every quarter if you take care of it. What if what if I decided I'm going to use this like two or three nights? Have you ever tried that using one multiple nights? Oh yeah, yeah, I've, I've used it for <clears throat> like seven months straight, and, and it's so. still sticky. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Yeah, so I'm talking. This is a nightly disposable one. What if someone could you? You try could to not it? use it again. Mm -hmm. So, so you get, you're like, going to get one night out of it. It's not it like underwear going. where I could wear it multiple times. No. Okay, so this so is it's, it's a it's a one night disposable. You'll get thirty two of these, which would equate to one nasal cushion every two weeks. You know, we're not, we're not dictating. What we do is we eliminate a lot of issues that bug patients. Um, you know, marks on your face, marks on your head. You know, if that's an issue, and it, in in our marketing research, that was the number three thing for women. So comfort seal were four of the top five, and marks on your head was in the top five. I'm sure that's for so, I mean, guys, the, the, guys as well. Yeah, I mean, and this was, this is what, you know, what was came back from, you know, both men and women. All right, so this is also, it, it's nasal only at this point. Yeah. So, that someone's going to ask 
Stuart, what the right. why don't you why don't you like full face masks? Are you gonna make a full face mask? Yeah, we have we we, <laughs> we have a full face uh, version that this works with. Um, so when, when we are a startup, we can't do it. I don't. We don't have the funding that the big boys have. Right. Uh, but we have a patent on it. It's novel and unique. It doesn't have headgear. Uh, you have the disposable component that works in conjunction with the silicone based that does have an adhesive component that works on the oral side. But they come together as one unit when you put them on. Um, and again, it would be a one size fits all opportunity. Financially, it takes a lot to yeah. develop a product and get it off the ground. And look, I mean, 75, 80% of the market is the nasal market. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, we can't, as a company, collect funding and focus on 15 to 20, 25% of the market. You're going to focus on this first and then you, you, you build your portfolio around it. And I just want to give you a chance to say to that because I know you're going to get asked that. No, and, and we are. I mean, it's just like people... You know, on social media, there's have been. Oh, what about mouth breathers? What about mouth breathers? Well, I'd I'd love to be able to fix that now, but we, we just we just aren't there as a company. You yeah. make one good product, let's get that off the ground and and you know, fix as many issues as we can that people are dealing with, and we'll start you know building you know the rest of our product line around it. Yeah, your videos are actually very. I like them. Yeah, like they're high production quality. The, and they're, they're, they're fun. You make fun of it and you're not like too Yeah, serious. I mean, we just we, we didn't want to take ourselves. super judgy, so if he complimented yeah. you, you might have We just didn't want to take ourselves Actually, too Tammy serious. is even judgy, or Tamadone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy's even more judgy than I am. That's true. If that's possible. All right, thank you, Stuart, for a great interview. I really appreciated it, and I look forward to doing the next video where we actually did the product demonstration. Now, I also appreciate you flying the old wife and I out to North Carolina when you do the product launch. Huh? All expenses paid? Huh? Hmm? Eh? Hey, please like and subscribe as well. So there's one more thing that I think is kind of a travesty about this whole situation. There's a part in here about airing. Now airing, probably everyone's familiar with it. It's a, supposed to be a, a, a device that's like CPAP and it has some battery power and it's, everything's just under your lip. Hasn't ever been invented yet. There's not even a proof of concept. Um, now they've already, they've already raised about two million on Indiegogo. And then there's another website that they started funding on. And last time I checked, that thing was over a couple hundred thousand. Um, and it's, I mean, there's not even a prototype yet. It's just, it's, a, it's horrible to me. Now Bleep Sleep and the, had the Dreamport Sleep Solution up there. Um, and they raised like 3,400 bucks. And I was just like, oh my God. Just looking at it, there's tons of videos about him doing product demos with people, people that are in the field. And they're all like, oh my God, that thing's the best thing ever. This is great. Um, and that, that's all they raised. Now, I know they didn't do a good job getting it out there. I didn't see any media really slamming it. So I think that's a travesty. I think this is something that you're going to be interested in.